Automatic, manual, and lathe are the primary extrude methods for using the Follow Me tool. In order for the Follow Me tool to work, you'll need to make sure that the closed 2D shape being extruded was created perpendicular to the shape edge or line the extrude will follow. The automatic extrude method with the Follow Me tool allows a 2D shape to be extruded in 3D along all the edges of a shape's face. I want to create the appearance of 3D molding along the top edge of this cube using the automatic method. I'll activate the Select tool and select the top face of the cube, which will tell SketchUp to use all the edges connected to the face. I'll then activate the Follow Me tool with the Follow Me button on the large toolset toolbar and left-click on the 2D shape I created perpendicular to the edge I want to follow along. Notice that SketchUp automatically extruded the 2D shape into a 3D shape that resembles molding along the entire top edge of the cube. I'll press the Ctrl and Z keys on the keyboard to undo the extrude. With the automatic extrude method, the Select tool can also be used to select an individual edge on a closed shape, multiple connected edges on the same shape or connected shapes, or even independent line segments. But the key is to use the Select tool first for the path the extrude will follow. With the Select tool, I'll select a single edge of this cube, hold the Control key, and select the next edge connected to it. Activate the Follow Me tool again, left click on the perpendicular 2D shape, and the extrude will automatically follow along only the edges I selected. I'll press the Ctrl and Z keys again to undo the extrude. The 2D shape used for the extrusion created with the Follow Me tool does not have to be touching the edge or line that it's going to follow. I'll activate the Select tool and left-click the face of this curved shape. Activate the Follow Me tool, and then left-click on the circle's face with the cursor. I'll activate the Select tool again, left-click on the center face of the new shape, and press the Delete key to clear it. Notice the tubular 3D shape I created with the 2D circle that was separate from the edge of the shape it followed for the extrude. The manual extrude method with the Follow Me tool uses a referenced path during the 3D extrude instead of first selecting a path with the Select tool. With the Follow Me tool activated, I'll left-click on the 2D shape that creates the molding, hover the cursor over the edge I want the extrude to follow, and then move the cursor along that edge. With this method, I can stop the extrude wherever I like on the edge by left-clicking on the mouse. The Lathe Extrude method can create extruded 3D shapes that look similar to what can be created on a lathe machine. The method works best when the center of the perpendicular circle used for the extrusion path is aligned with the point on the 2D shape that will become the center of the 3D shape. I'll demonstrate by drawing a circle with the circle tool that's perpendicular and centered under what will be the central vertical axis of the new 3D shape. I'll activate the Select tool, left-click on the circle's face, Activate the Follow Me tool, and left-click on the face of the 2D shape I want to extrude. I now have a 3D shape that resembles a wine glass.